Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with another model video. As 2017 comes to an end, we start to reflect what's happened during the year regarding our hobby pursuits, uh, platforms and other activities as well as uh, events. What's gone well, what hasn't? I have finished a total of uh, 24 builds. Unfortunately, some of them has been less than stellar and I've been unable to finish my flagship build. The Master Grade Mass Production Cube LA utilizing 3D printed parts, scratch building, casting, as well as a host of learning new skills, dealing with painting, polishing, and an ultra fine showroom wet gloss finish. I have learnt a lot. The build is on uh, the very end of being finished. A little bit of repair work and uh, she'll be on display sometime 2018. Just taking a bit of a break from it. So with all the negativity out of the way through uh, events and groups and uh, Gunplay Builders World Cups and the Q Ballet and whatnot, there's been some ups. With the YouTube apocalypse, my channel came out fairly uh, unscathed and uh, doing quite well at uh, its usual pace. So this platform I'll still be going strong now I think the coolest thing from late 2016 2017 getting straight into the builds of the year is the Bandai figureize bust se series especially uh, focusing on builds and items that uh, does take my fancy and wishing to improve in uh, garage kits and uh, resin and whatnot these quick builds were very good in experimentation of uh, shading and painting resin, hair, clothing and uh, whatnot. This was punched out uh, very quickly just after it was released. With all of this uh, resin and figureized work, I've also been involved with the Kota Bikir Frame Arm Girls. As they've been out for a few years, I finally got around to doing Garai and depicted her just as uh, the box art uh, displayed with uh, full shading decals and whatnot, especially giving the flesh and hair the correct amount of uh, blush off the artwork opposed the instructions. A few 70 second tanks were also thrown into the mix. This one, my personal belief, is the best attempt in the nice freehand camouflage scheme. As I've uh, been doing some selling and running a small business, this is a unique product I've been importing, the 4D 1.6 scale rifle collection. Built this as an example to uh, show off and get some uh, sales up. It was uh, quite fun to build and uh, a bit popular out there. I do intend to do more, but uh, modify them heavily and involve them more into Gunpla. This was built for the Gunpla Builders Australia group build, a full uh, diorama and iron blooded orphan uh, mobile suit, weathered, painted, modified, the full McConnor Man treatment as uh, usual. It probably is one of my more uh, favourite uh, kits that I built uh, throughout the year. I am disappointed I didn't get the chance to uh, have more fun with more high grades, though that's going to have to uh, change. This uh, design does really do it for me with the backpack removed. This resin tank was a bit of a mistake. Uh, very poorly cast kits and uh, difficult to get up to scratch, being very worn in detail. Attempted a weathered, rust out look. Didn't work out, but did learn a bit about weathering and finishes. The Ikari was a pre-coloured Volks garage kit. Very smooth and easy to build, yet uh, quite a bit of work was needed in cleaning up uh, faults, sanding and whatnot. An earlier resin kit uh, done by myself, a lot of effort put into getting the shading of the uh, clothing and skin tone uh, just right. The pics pretty much like the uh, anime with a custom made 3D printed base and mini tank gifted to me by a friend. It couldn't have come out any better than I would have uh, hoped for. Very, very pleased. Second frame arm girl, I did uh, try to go a bit more olive tanned on the uh, flesh tone and played around with the uh, colours to go more box art than instructions. This was built by a couple of streams and started from runners to a finished painted product within the week, all done on stream. A simple tank build by S model, nothing too special about it, it was uh, filler content for the channel. 
This one is a little bit older. Uh, decals didn't turn out uh, too well, but uh, another addition. A Fairy Kukaku build. Very, very rare kit to come across. Probably its only rendition on uh, YouTube and very few published online. Thoroughly enjoyed the build. The paint could not have come out uh, any better with the Girls and Panzer decals. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Great kit, very, very clean build, not much special, light weathering, Girls and Panzer decals, uh, came out to be quite popular when posted online. An FX kit I've been after for a very long time, uh, seems to be out of production and sourced at our Model Expo. I was very quick to build, finish it and uh, display it as a form of archiving the type of build it is if it is ne never to be seen in box kit release again. AE2046 build, a uh, sailor from uh, Gundam. It uh, seems to be depicted from a series of uh, figures and uh, recast into resin. Came out very, very well. I'm quite happy with how it uh, turned out with uh, the flesh, skin, clothing and uh, whatnot. Just getting closer to uh, finishing these figures more efficiently, competently and uh, better. Looking forward to do more resin. This bear guy was purely tested to uh, get the hang of uh, polishing mirror finishes uh, and the color combination and paints to be used for the cube LA. Purely as a uh, paint test when polished and finished, it was uh, gifted to Daryl Williams, a very known and uh, keystone hobbyist in the Australian community. He was taking good care of it as a gift. One 100 Greys, this kit was chosen out for me and given to me as a sponsorship build with the shop Animasia. It was purely uh, built, displayed and photographed in shop for the reason why their background is uh, slightly different. It was a long term uh, project to modify, clean up and get the whole build uh, just right with a candy finish and uh, light weathering full diorama. This was an opportunity for the uh, public to interact as I uh, built for a few hours a week in a public place. There is another build ongoing and should be displayed sometime 2018. The video does show from the very first step to the very last step completely captured on camera. The first and only Mecha Misume for build for the year. It was a challenge over a couple of days at a con with a few friends. Came out uh, as expected and very happy with the finished result. It's just a free form of scratch building, modeling and painting. I was excited when this uh, came out. Thought I would uh, imagine it in a way that it would uh, come out quite uh, interesting. Uh, funnily enough, the proportions in the model itself just doesn't really do justice in what direction you go into. And it's uh, come out poor. Not too happy, but it's uh, kind of fun and silly. And it was uh, very good to get me out of the Gunpla Builders World Cup uh, rut and disappointment. This was a very fun and silly build done as a challenge in the club. Utilising a box, a lot of putty and a toy to do something a bit gross and invoke uh, different emotions as a experiment in uh, telling a story and uh, what modelling is really all about. Absolute uh, load of uh, fun. The finished result uh, wasn't as imagined, though it did get uh, the results I was exactly looking for. Armoured car. A little tricky to build due to its nature from an Eastern European manufacturer. Came out to be a lot of fun. Reckon I got the weathering just uh, on. Not much else to say. Uh, this build would definitely be my most controversial and uh, fun to date. I'll allow the uh, build video itself to uh, tell its story. Another figure eyes bust. Still playing with uh, flesh tones, clothing tones and whatnot. Went a little heavier on uh, finishes. Getting the wetsuit looking uh, wet and utilizing little uh, droplets of uh, water and the five second fix to do the lens of the uh, eyes. Turned out uh, pretty interestingly. I've uh, been working on this for a while. It is uh, the vintage uh, early 80s Gelgig. 
uh, one to one 44 scale spent a bit of time assembling filling in the seam lines all that painting it uh, glossing it as well as uh, polishing it to be as shiny as possible without showing any fault or mistake a slight amount of uh, tone uh, very heavy in uh, shading and uh, gradients uh, just love how it's uh, come out. I am a big fan of uh, the Gelgoog and it's uh, probably my favorite vintage build to date. A B Club resin 112 scale figure from Double Zeta. A friend scored a few of those in a lucky dip or uh, auction. Shared it among a few friends as a group build. I uh, assembled it and slowly masked and airbrushed each uh, area and uh, when the year was coming to a close I wanted it out of my hair and uh, back um, log so had some uh, 35th eyes, hand painted the last of the detail, gave it a wash and a top coat uh, today to have it finally finished and on display. As warned in 2018, uh, things are going to change quite a bit and substantially. I've got a lot in the background and unfortunately maybe next year will be a small output as well as uh, this year. Though eventually once uh, the pieces start to fit together and some of the big uh, earth breaking moments do occur and everything is confirmed, I will do a video explaining and outlining what's exactly happening and how things are going to conclude how it affect the channel you guys but it's going to get a lot more exciting and a lot more uh, interactive personal so you guys are going to find it very very exciting if you wish to uh, definitely play along but on the side that i will be building uh, kits and doing usual videos and tutorials and reviews and all that so if you don't want to be involved that is uh, still going to be occurring Though unfortunately with um, an organisation within Australia, I did have a falling out with a club, so I'm going to be less involved in the event scene, as well as uh, competitions. Uh, that is a tad of a downside, but that just means that uh, resources and time will be redeployed and focused uh, elsewhere. It shouldn't affect things, though again, it does mean 2018 will be substantially different. Everything will be explained in a vlog uh, coming up. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support uh, throughout the year. I think um, it's gone okay. It can only get better from here. And we'll catch you guys in 2018. Hope to see you guys. Keep building. Keep having a good time. And uh, yeah, see you all on the other side. Wishing everyone a happy and wonderful 2018.